Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Sellers. And <laughs> that's my little tired puppy Dot. There's a little new bone for her today. She's tired of this hot weather. Uh, you know, Houston is such a big uh, town and we're in the far northwest part of Houston. So friends of ours got rain uh, last night uh, over in the southeast part of town. A little bit of rain, not much. Uh, we didn't get a drop here in northwest Houston, uh, not too far from here. Uh, they got a lot of rain up, uh, up the road in College Station and the temperatures dropped uh, 25 degrees and <laughs> it didn't make it here to our part of Houston. So we're still, I guess, in the drought and in the 100 degree range today. Uh, but uh, you know, they say Texas is so big that uh, uh, we have different time zones and we have different dialects uh, in Texas because it's so big. And whatever, we're starting a new work week and I hope that you're in a good place today. And this is our brief daily message of hope and we uh, we truly live in a world that needs hope. You know, we've had enough anger and bitterness and you know, we're just now gearing up again for another uh, never-ending political season where there's always some huge election coming up and uh, the fate of humanity always rests on it and, and so everyone is so tense and nervous and angry and bitter and divisive. Uh, God's still in charge. We still belong to him and, uh, and he still loves us and he still reaches out his hands to us offering salvation, forgiveness of our sins and eternal life in his son Jesus. And so we do that and we're sort of freed from the, the momentary fluxes and changes uh, in, um, in attitudes and opinions. Uh, we follow the truth. In our uh, gospel reading today, actually in our first lesson today on the feast day of St. Augustine of Hippo, we're reading in 1 John chapter 4 um, about what true love is. Now the world has its own idea about what love is and we see it in the news all the time. You know, serial monogamy and relationships starting and stopping and ending and new relationships and multiple, it just goes on and on without end. But this is true love uh, from today's uh, reading. Uh, gospel, First John chapter four, verse seven. Dear friends, let us love one another for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only Son into the world that we might live through him. This is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. One of the translations says, True love consists in this, not that we love God, but that he first loved us. And so know that you are acceptable to him. He loves you, uh, and his love is a never-ending love, just as his presence with you is never-ending. And I've been thinking all night and today about John Lennon's song from 1967 called All You Need Is Love, which begins with uh, <laughs> the French national anthem of all things. Blessed day today, and God willing, Dodd and I will see you here again tomorrow. God bless you.